Marino, a country that is apparently right in Italy. Be honest, did you know that? Because I had no idea. I thought it was some island off the coast. They only have 33,745 people within that country. But they also have one of the best Twitter accounts when it comes to football, which actually has 137,000 people following it, making it an account that has more followers than the actual country in terms of population. And every time they score, they go mental. 5.5 million views on that tweet. We scored and we equalized against Denmark. I mean, the happiness every time this nation scores is just seen throughout the whole of Twitter. So today, my friends, I am taking on AFC Wimbledon, but inspired by what we have done in the last video, I'm going to be doing a Youth Academy rebuild with AFC Wimbledon, where every single freaking player has to be from San Marino. I want to take over world football with this nation that sadly isn't in the game. I like the sound of that. Because if you search for San Marino in the game, there's literally not a single player making it an extreme rarity to come across one to put it into your team. Basically impossible, obviously. So what is my ultimate goal? By the way, I chose AFC Wimbledon because they have football manager on their shirt. And I gotta be honest, man, so many people have been asking me to play football manager. I never got around to it properly. I might give it a shot at some point. We'll see. But yeah, here we are. The goal I want to set myself is obviously to have a full starting 11 and possibly ideally a bench of players from San Marino. I want to push the country as far as possible. Now, sadly, the game doesn't actually have the San Marino national team, obviously, so I cannot go ahead and be their coach and try and win some major trophies with the country as well. But what I'm going to try and do is basically I'm going to pretend to be a fish San Marino millionaire slash billionaire who takes over a team in the English divisions, AFC Wimbledon, and then starts building insane youth academies over in San Marino. And somehow between 33,000 odd people in there, I'm finding hidden gems everywhere. That's the plan. First thing to do on the job, we need to hire a scout and hopefully multiple later on. But this is the one. I want one of the best. Ideally, at least four star, four star. For that, I need 1.7 million in the budget. Now, currently, we have around... 767k. This team is poor. Okay, so now I have sold a bunch of players. I have 1.74 million. I actually have up to 3 million right now. I don't want to spend it all on just one scout. So as soon as I can get another one in, I'm going to do that. So I'm not going to go overboard here and get a four star, four star one and send him to San Marino to look for a goalkeeper or defenders. I'll make my choice in a second. I've made my choice starting off with goalkeeper, of course, you have to. The first scout report is here and I'm excited to start off the journey of building the best team in the world through San Marino. Here we go. We have Ivan Guerra, 56 to 76. Hold up, before I look into his value, this guy could be insanely high valued. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping maybe we get a decent backup as well. But I'll take that. I'm okay with that. I actually need to look for a backup too because I do want the bench to have some Marino, some Marino players as well. But Ivan Guerra, six foot four tall, left footed, 1.2 million. What a freaking start. What's his rating though? What's his rating? 63. Yes. Love that. He goes straight into the team and he's 16 years old, which I didn't even pay attention to. It, it would have sucked if this dude was 15 and we couldn't use him. But he goes straight into the starting 11. Trying my basket. Whoever plays in his position will be sold or moved on. We'll see what happens there. But Guerra is here. He looks to be amazing at kicking with zero play styles. Now, in the last video we did, all of a sudden, everyone had the chip shot plus. Let's see if this time that glitch won't occur. Occur? Occur? What, what the hell is the word, actually? There we go. Roberto Esposito is going to be the backup goalkeeper. 51 to 67 overall, but terrible potential. So that is the ideal one that will be probably happy about sitting on the bench. I'll sign that other one, too. He actually has higher value. So we're sorted on goalkeepers within two months. Let's look for defenders because I feel like we're going to concede a bunch of goals. The 25th is the day on which we get our scout reports at the moment. And I am looking for center backs. Come on now, please. Uh, that, I mean, he has high potential. I'm going to sign him anyways. Come on. Can I have at least one guy who's actually... Yes, 800k. 
I was thinking we had no one. Eduardo Franco, get in there. And he comes in with a rating of 60 and a man bun. What more can you ask for? Development plan applied instantly. Yes, we'll go for pace. And of course, we'll go ahead and promote him to the senior team. He goes straight into the starting 11. And here are his play styles. Long ball, anticipate and slide tackle. No chip shot. Good stuff. The second month right here looking for a center back. Please give me the second one already. Please, please, please. Anyone? Oh, yes. Oh, no, he's 15. Oh, man. Oh, why is he 15? I mean, technically, I could use the mod to turn him 16 or even enable something where I can use him as a 15-year-old in this team, but... I feel like that's child labor. Luckily enough, Romano, of course, is 15, but Bruno, who was also in the scat report that I didn't realize, is 60 rated with 68 to 94 potential. He just didn't look as good in the initial stats there for me to look into his, uh, his value, but this is the one that goes into the starting 11. And then Romano, as a year to grow, can come into the team as a starter or someone for the bench. Center back position sorted. So up next... Defender, CDM. I am going to be playing a certain formation with this team. And uh, I want to play the 4-3-3 with a false 9. Because too many times I go ahead and play uh, in career mode rebuilds where I want to have strikers. For once, I want to try center forward. I just spent two months looking for a CDM. And finally, in the second month scout report, we found Ivan Esposito. 57 rating, 77 to 94 potential. That's the only one I could find. All the other ones were terrible, like genuinely between 30 to 40 overall, which made absolutely no sense. So Ivan Esposito, you're coming in, pal. 4-3-3, false nine. He is the CDM. Now that we sorted that out, though, it's time to look for center midfielders. And the good thing is we have two center midfield positions. So hopefully this scout within the three months can get us two. And then by the end of the season... We might actually look at at least like five to six starting 11 players being from the youth academy already. Two months later, I have found Vittorio Esposito, a center midfielder with 57 overall. Not great, but 74 to 94 potential. Now that's good, right? But then I have found another one. It is Giovanni Guerra. He looks very much like Cambiasso to me because Cambiasso, as you guys know, is Argentinian. And that looks like a Boca Juniors kit. So my mind is just playing games right here. But Giovanni Guerra is a center attacking mid, which could also play center forward. Hold up. No, 44 weeks. That's definitely not happening. Center mid, 86 weeks. Oh, I was kind of hoping to... Oh, maybe I can use him on the wings. That could be a possibility. Left midfield, right midfield. What is he? Right footed, left footed. I don't even know. Where the hell can I see that again? Oh, yeah, right footed. All right, we're going to put this guy as a right midfielder. He's not a center mid. Okay, guys, I'm running into an issue because Esposito, who is supposed to be a left uh, center midfielder, he has a plus one on the bench, right? But as soon as I move him onto the wings, he gets a plus freaking seven. So both of these guys are actually wingers. None of them are center mids. In the next month of the scout report, I didn't get any center midfielders, but Esposito is going from a 58 to a 64. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to improve his shooting. 64 rated. Is that the highest highest rating we have brought into the team so far? I think it might just be, you know. So I'm very amazed by that. Stop the simulation. Let's take a look at Esposito's stats here. He is 64 rated. A bunch of play styles. Chip shot, long ball, flare, aerial. Then we're going to look at uh, the other lads. That, oh, actually, I didn't promote him. I'm waiting for him to actually change his position to a right winger to then bring him in. So I'm going to actually do that next season uh, because I don't want to impact his potential negatively. But this Esposito is on a 57. We have the Esposito brothers. Let's put it that way. Actually, they don't look that much alike. So let's pretend they're cousins. And uh, we have the center backs who are looking extremely solid and our goalkeeper who is ridiculous. And the question is... How far have we gotten this season? Because the, the season has now finished. Actually, not necessarily. It will finish in just a second. And I do wonder, has this team that has been massively downgraded in many positions been able to do well? Or has it really struggled? So, ooh. Oh, no. That's not good. We're getting promoted into League 2. I, I actually don't think that's a good thing because getting promoted uh, into League 1, sorry, Getting promoted into League One, that could hurt us because a lot of these players are not going to be able to compete 
with those League One players. I could see a terrible season in League One, but I'm really hoping I'm wrong. And actually, we might be able to save it by bringing in another scout next season that can bring us even more talent. So hopefully that is going to work out for us. Let's just quickly dive into the stats. Anyone special from our youth academy doing well? Our center back got one goal and one assist. Esposito came in and got a goal for himself as well. Hopefully a precursor of what's going to happen in the next season. But the San Marino boys need more talent. Well, here it is. New season, 5 million in the budget. And we are going to spend a bunch of it on this guy, Nigul Pesuke. That is the guy. Five star, five star. That is probably going to be needed because as we are now in League One, I will need higher rated players. And let's not forget about our talents right here in the Youth Academy still from the last season. Gianmarco Romano, who is 15 now, is 16 years old, 63 rated, could easily push his way into the team. And I'm just realizing he could be a left back, you know, within 16 weeks. I need a left back. I've been looking for one for a month already and I haven't found one. So I'm going to turn him into a left back and then bring him into the team. So I just need to bring in a right back. And Guerra. This man, we've been training to become a right midfielder. I probably should have gone for right wing. But anyways, let's start off with right midfielder. Only a 61 rated player, but still that is good enough for me. Actually, I wanted to turn him into a right wing, didn't, didn't I? So let's do that. But still, let's promote him into the main squad. And with that done, we are slowly progressing towards a team that's going to be consisting of just youth academy players from San Marino. So we have a left wing, we have a right wing, we have a CDM, we have two center backs, we have a left back in the youth academy waiting. So we have a couple of positions to fill for the starting 11. And hopefully that five-star scout is going to be able to get it done because I'm looking for a left back and a right back at the moment. But as we know, left back is not needed anymore. The scouts have worked and this month they have brought in some amazing players, guys. So Romano, I'm not actually going to turn into a left back anymore. I'm going to keep him as an option for the center back position, the position he was destined for. So let's turn him back into a center back, bring him into the team immediately. And here's the catch. We brought in three talents, three Davide Romano, 60 rated already. Great haircut, promoted to the senior team. And then we have Richie, who I'm going to use for the left back position. 76 to 94 potential on this lad. He's going to come in. Let's give him 14 weeks to grow and promote it to the senior side. And Colombo, you can come in as well as a backup to the lad. So now let's take a quick look into what we have built up. So Guerra, now a right winger, 62 rated. Esposito, 65. We need two center midfielders. That is the thing I'm going to be looking for now. But left back position has been sorted out. Richie comes in. Romano takes over the right back position. With that, the entire back line is now San Marino. How do you say it? San Mar Marinoians? <laughs> I don't even know how you say that. That's definitely wrong. But Esposito is here and just two more spots in midfield. And most importantly, I've saved this one for last because I wanted a five-star, five five-star five -star scout. I'm going to be looking for a center forward. So one scout will be looking for center midfielders. The other one for a center forward. And that's the five-star one. Lads, two months have passed and the scouts have brought in an incredible player. Umberto Mancini, the blonde angel, is coming in now as a center forward. 66 rated. That is officially the highest rated player we have found. His value was set at 1.8 million. And with that, I am so excited that we have found our main man for the team. So, promoted him into the senior team. And then I'm looking for center mids, but it keeps giving me different positions, which I really don't understand. Having said that, Umberto Bianchi right here is very high rated. So I'm going to bring him into the team and actually hope I can turn him into a center mid if I can. 91 weeks. Are you kidding? I mean, he's very good with everything here, it seems. His stats look ridiculous. So probably like a winger position, something like that. Center forward only two weeks. Right winger, striker 20 weeks. Left winger two weeks. I don't even know what to do with this guy. I'm going to turn him into a center forward and see. Maybe he's higher rated than the other lad that we have just found. But I need a center mid. Actually, not just one. I need two. So let's check out the stats of these lads that we have brought in. Mancini coming in into that center forward position. Left footed, technical and trickster. 
I'm very happy about that one. The other ones on here, actually, I didn't promote them into the team yet, have I? Oh, well, it's just Mancini for now, but man, I think he's going to be a big one for us. How tall is he? Five foot nine. Ooh, kind of thought he was taller than that. I got to say, I'm a bit worried about Umberto Bianchi being higher rated as a center forward because I want that blonde angel to play up top. Nope, he's 65. Okay, it's all good. He can be the backup for that position. Perfect. That's I'm nearly giving up on this center midfield thing, but... We have found one. Diego Rizzo is the one center midfielder. I don't know why it's been so hard to find one. I actually switched from searching from a center for a center midfielder to technically gifted or playmaker now. And finally, we have found one. Diego Rizzo goes straight into the starting 11. And then these other ones, I mean, none of these guys are actually good enough to make it in there yet. So I'm still going to be searching. And now the season ends with me having found some incredible players. Nicola Bruno. He goes straight into the team. Marchetti straight into the team. Bellini, you as well. All these lads are going into the squad. But still, I cannot find another center midfielder. I don't know what the hell is wrong, but it has turned out to be a massive, massive issue. So, the season has ended, and where's my center mid? Rizzo, he has been playing games already, as you can see. He has that plus three form. But generally speaking, I really, really hope that this team has done well and has not gotten relegated, because I do believe that we can do well in here in this division 10th. I will take that. I'm okay with that because I personally thought it was too early to go up. We're going to spend another season in League One, but I got to say next season, I'm definitely expecting us to go for promotion because I do believe that the San Marino lads are going to go up in their ratings and Umberto Mancini might have been injured. He has 23 games and 11 goals. But only 23 games is a very low amount. So I guess he might have been injured. Esposito, second best. Our center midfielder, Reeves, he's still here. I mean, you can... Uh, I, I, I'm trying, man. I'm trying so hard to find another center mid. Hold up. Before the season actually ends, this bald lad, Flavio Blanc uh, Bianchi, is a center midfielder in 15 weeks. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'm fine with it. I'm done looking for a center mid. So finally taking Reeves out of his position and bringing in the new center midfielder, Bianchi. And with that, my friends, the entire starting 11 finally is filled with players from San Marino. And now they can start taking over world football. Currently sat here watching Girona play against Athletic Bilbao, hoping they can win to get first place in La Liga again. Let me know what you think of Girona this season. But guys, let me dive into this standing situation here because we came in fit, right? Had to play through the playoffs and we won the playoffs. 1-0 against Reading in the playoff finals, which means we are getting promoted and that is lovely. Now, what is lovely as well is this beautiful team filled with San Marino players in a starting 11 and also on the bench. I'm so happy that we have managed to put together this squad. And Esposito on a 74, he is our highest, second highest rated player. First highest, uh, as, what is it? Rated player outfielder, I should say, because our goalkeeper is on a 76 so he is clearly doing a great job as we speak and the defense hopefully can grow in their ratings because bruno and franco are very high rated while our left back and right back are not there yet alongside esposito bianchi all these guys so we have plenty of time for these people to grow but i want to know what has our blonde angel done i want him to be the best striker in world football our centre midfielder has more goals than my centre forward. Okay. Um, that's interesting to say the least. Mr. Rizzo has 15 goals and 3 assists. I mean, I guess waiting for him for that, that much time was worth it. Because it took us so long to find a centre mid. And at the end of the day, it did pay off. We're promoted. Sadly, this season, no direct promotion. But sixth in the league. Leeds United and Sheffield United are going up into the Premier League and we have a chance to go to, through the playoffs. And we did! We beat Southampton 
in the final of the playoffs, which means Southampton remains in the championship, but the San Marino lads are going up, which is incredible. I don't know why Mancini is so unhappy. What the hell is going on there, buddy? Are you okay? I don't know what the issue is. We'll fix that next season, but hey, a lot of the players, actually everyone obviously has gotten past the 70, which was desperately needed. It was a big issue for us to have those low ratings in here. And now going into the Premier League, that's going to be an even bigger issue. So we'll have to see how we get around that. But Rizzo, again, 19 goals, two assists. I mean, is he, does he have insane shooting? He has 69 shooting. It's not that great, but he's 74 rated. So that's not bad at all. But a center midfielder is outdoing my forwards right now. Mancini with only seven and one. I'm kind of, oh, that's why he's unhappy. Bianchi has been taking away his playtime. Now everything is clear. Okay, so maybe Bianchi actually 76 rated. I need to figure out if I want to put him into the starting 11. Esposito 81, right wing, 76 rated Dera. So maybe if I turn him into a right wing, which I believe he is, yeah, easily. Right wing, he is uh, possibly higher rated there. And then we can have our blonde angel play up top with no issues. First season in the Prem and we finished in the 12th position, which is great. We're not going down and that is all I wanted from our first session in the Prem. But guys, 86 rating on Esposito, 87 on Guerra. And then the next one in line, I guess, would be Mancini, who now is the main man as Bianchi has moved to right wing and is now 82 rated. Sorry, Guerra. Uh, you are not the right wing. And you know what? That also allows us to have two Bianchis in that uh, team at the moment, which is all right, as we do have two Espositos as well. So let's go ahead and take a look into the stats. This time around, I'm assuming our center forward has done much better. There we go. 20 goals and six assists. Esposito 15 and 13. And Rizzo has dropped to the third position. That's okay, buddy. You've done enough already. Girona have scored 1-0 up against Athletic Bilbao. And now, AFC Wimbledon. Look at that. We came into Champions League positions, guys. I never expected that. But the team must have grown really well. And it has Esposito 90, Mancini 88, Bianchi 86. Our attack is ridiculous. It is Champions League level. Our midfield, not so much. It really isn't. For whatever reason, the 4-3-3, this formation, the midfielders never grow for me. I don't get it. But defensively, we are looking solid except the fullback positions, but at least both of them are past the 80. And now going into our first Champions League season, we have a 91 rated goalkeeper. So he is probably one of the main reasons as to why we are doing so well. Esposito, Mancini and Bianchi, obviously the top three scorers. Vizzo has definitely taken a step back as we can tell. But guys... Let's move on. Let's smash it. Champions League footy. Here we come. Wimbledon have improved once more. Or should I say the San Marino boys are now second in the Premier League. But a massive gap to Manchester City. But that's not the only thing, my friends. Europa League. We won it. Yes, we won it. 2-0 against Atalanta Bergamo. And guys, with that, San Marino has gotten a European title. And it's not the only one. I want this team. You can see it right here. Lots of growth on these players. I want them to lift that Champions League trophy. It's the thing that I want the most. Mancini, top scorer in the team. Esposito, 27 and 11. Bianchi, 19 and 11. And Rizzo is back to scoring. That must be a good sign. We got past the likes of Bayern Munich already in the round of 16 to now play against PSG. Small little San Marino gets past Bayern and PSG to play in the semi-finals. Barcelona. Oh boy, the big teams back to back to back. Wimbledon, get it done the first time. Come on, San Marino. Yes! We are in the final of the Champions League, my friends. San Marino Youth Academy up against... Huh? West Ham in the... Oh, FA Cup final too. And then Liverpool in the actual final there. Guys, this is it. This is our moment. We have lost against West Ham, sadly, in the cup. But... Let me just double check. Is there a chance for a double? Have we won the Premier League? Please tell me we did. Yes, we did. San Marino conquered England. And now we're going to conquer Europe 
This time around, guys, the team is looking extremely solid. Look at the ratings. Let me see if the glitch is here. Yep, everyone has the chip shot. I, 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 oh, Bianchi only has the regular one, but... Honestly, I don't know why this keeps happening. The chip shot plus. Uh, but anyways, the bench is looking solid as well. We're not against that. I mean, that guy shouldn't be on the bench. We only need San Marino players on there. But guys, 96 on Mancini. How many goals has he managed to score this season? Let me just double check that real quick. 35 and 10. Exceptional. Esposito, 24 and 11. Bianchi, 23 and 16. Let's dive into this Champions League final against Real Madrid and see... Uh, not against Real Madrid, against Liverpool. And see what is going to happen here. They're coming in with Nkunku up top alongside Bakayoko. Ramsey, Loedis is in there as well. Kamara is in. Flynn and Draper as the fullbacks. And Simon, or Seaman, as the cent uh, as the goalkeeper. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Solid. Good steal. I need a run. I'm getting a run. I need him to sprint faster. Yes! Esposito! Smack it! Oh, what a save. Coming in from Bianchi. Over to Esposito once more. Bianchi chasing it. Lovely work. I see Mancini making a run. Mancini! Oh, hits the post. Bro, I need to pee so bad. But I'm going to make a rule. I can only go pee if I go ahead and score a goal. All right, that's how we're going to do it. This is not good for my health. Please, guys, don't hold it in. It's not healthy. Short one. Lobbing it over the defender. Incredible work. Yes. Yes. I can pee now. 1-0. We take the lead with Mancini. A beautiful run down the wings with skill moves and the oversight to find the teammates. Mancini, I wanted you to be the main man of this. And now San, Miro, San Marino has their biggest star. A little bit out of position with our boys here. Liverpool on the attack. I tried to put in a tackle there. That was not good enough. Ramsey pushing forward. I'm switching players way too often there. And giving them the ball on top of it. And allow them to shoot. Okay, calm it down. Oh, let's go. Esposito. Esposito. Mancini. He's open. Mancini. Ah, oh, come on, man. I'm just trying to be fancy. Yes. Go on. Dude, this Esposito, the CDM, is great. But then this Esposito is also quite decent. He's the one with the skill moves. Let's go, buddy. He's going past them again. Go on. Inside. Mancini, come on. Don't ruin the fun of the Esposito family. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's running. He's running. He's going for it. Please. No. Thank you very much, dude. Our goalkeeper is insane. I mean, what am I saying? He's like, what, 95 rated anyway? So, all good. Mancini, run. Make something happen, lads. Oh, there's a run. It's offside. Ah, for God's sake. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, no. He's going to score here. No, he isn't. Akayoko with the worst touch of all time. Just ruined it for his team. But they are still here. Bakayoko again. He's going to get revenge for that, isn't he? He's not. Nice steal. Beautiful interception. Off we go. Oh, what a pass. Oh, my God, bro. I've torn them apart. 89th minute, San Marino has conquered England and Europe now twice. It is done, San Marino lifting the trophy in a second. I don't even know who's the captain of this team right now, so I'm going to be just as surprised as you. Actually, it's Franco, makes a lot of sense. It's a center back, it's a giant, actually. He's like the tallest in the team as far as I can remember, and here... The man with the man bun alongside Mancini. San Marino has done it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This one is a longer video, but I enjoyed myself a ton. And I hope you did too. If you have been watching until this moment, please make sure to follow me on Instagram. We have been posting there very consistently and interacting with hundreds of people right now. It is at Johnny Sports. Have a good one. Take care. I'll see you next time. Peace.